This is Gemara Bam Metzio Daf Chof Tess. And we're holding the bottom of Chof Ches and Mebez. We pulled up a drop short as we ran out of time in the previous year, right after the Mishnah. So the Mishnah began by teaching us how do we deal with a Metzio and most particularly a, and to ensure that the eventual owner, when he comes and he gives his simonim, etc., to ensure that he's actually going to get back an item. As the Mishnah taught us that if an item is Isev the item produces, then great. Let the item produce and use that money to sustain the item. But what if the item doesn't produce? Said the Mishnah, sell the item. And then we have a debate whether you're allowed to utilize the proceeds or not. Says the Gemara, We said in the Mishnah, that, uh, that the animal should be Aisav Aichel. It should produce and use that to keep the animal alive. Says Gemara, you have to do this forever. Amr Abnachman, Amr Shmuel. Ad Yud Beis Chaydash, Tinin Am Yachut, Vash Aisav Aichel, Gon Parva Chamar, a donkey, a cow, Metabem Yud Beis Chaydash, Vikan Veilach, Sam Demehem, Umanichem. 12 months, you have to, you, uh, you have to be Metabel, you have to care for the items. I call Mus Yachim. Calves and young donkeys, metabim shleish chadashim in three months. Kanveilus on the main manichim. Afterwards, you put their money and then you leave it. Avazim vitarni goylim, roosters and other types of chickens. Metabim shleish chadashim, kanveilus some the mayhem, umanichim. So there's a different time period that you have to be metabo with the animal. After the time period elapses, some the mayhem, which means you sell the animal as Rashi. Points out a little bit higher up, Rashi says, Meichrin, you're going to sell the item, and keep the money. So you have to be metabel, you have to care for the animal for either 12 months, 3 months, or 30 days. A hen is like a behema, which means that you have to you have to care for it for up to 12 months. Behema gasa. Tanami hachi in the second white line. So if the care, if the upkeep is more than the schar, more than the item earns, in three days, so says the Gemara of Rice approving what we just said, but there's one case in the Rice which is Shver, Kasha gal musyachim, a gal musyachim, a vaz darigam, a vaz darigam, a vaz in a gal musyachim. Either the first price is said three months, second price said one month, thirty days. A vaz in tarigaylim. First price said thirty days, and the second price it says three days. Explains the Gemara four lines from the bottom. A gal musyachim, a gal musyachim. No kasha. Why? How to ray? How to be tuma? Because when the bride says three months is when they could be left to graze. The bride says 30 days is when they need to be fattened up to feed. There's not anywhere for them to graze. So therefore, you only have to care for them for 30 days. The large ones which eat a lot, therefore you only have to keep them for three days. The zutri, the smaller ones, which don't eat as much, those you only have to those you have to keep for longer for 30 days. And now we continue quoting the next part of the Mishnah, which was what? If it does not uh produce to eat, says the Gemara. Tanu Rabbana, we learned in the Rice. Says the Torah, you should return it to him. And therefore, there we learn out. See, how can you return it to him? Do not feed the value of the calf to the calves, nor the value of the Vazin La Vazin. Meaning, make sure there's something left at the end of the day to return to the owner. And the Mishnah concluded by teaching us, We had a machlekes in the Mishnah between Rav Tarifin and Rabbi Akiva, whether you're allowed to utilize the money or not. Says the Gemara, Rav Tarifin and Rav Akiva, As we turn over to Chavtesa Menalef, 
The machlekes is only if you could use the item. However, but if he did not have the right to use the money, then everyone would agree that him of do potter. That if he got lost, he would be potter. If you look at the top Rashi, Rashi speaks out that the machlekes is mishab schar shimosh mois. For the wages you get for utilizing the money. The fact that you're watching the item, and therefore says the Gemara, but if he did not have the right to use the item, everyone would agree that if it would be lost, he would be potter. Based on this, on the second line of Chavtas Amid Aleph, Says the Gemara, Leima Tavi Tiyovta de Rav Yosef, the famous Rav Yosef that we learned in Baba Kama, we can learn again in Baba Metzia de Etmar. Shoimer Aveda, what is the status of one watching a lost item? Rav Amar Kishayim Machin, Am Rav Yosef Amar Kishayim Sachar. So Rav Yosef said it's like a Shoimer Sachar. Why? Because being that while you're watching an item, you don't have to give money to an ani. Therefore, you're at some levels called that you're gaining, and therefore you're shemir zacher. So says the Gemara from our machlekes of Tarvin Rav Akiva. It seems very clear that everyone's holding that you're not a shemir zacher from the fact that we said that if you were to agree that you can't use item, that if we get lost, you'd be potter. Seemingly, everyone is holding like Rabba. Amr Lecha Rav Yisef. Rav Yisef responds five lines down. If it was stolen or lost, everyone didn't agree. Chayv keep liba ein sin deshayel. We're only talking about an oynis. Rav Tarvin Savar Sharle Rabban Lishtam Moshe Begavei. The Rabban allowed you to use it. Vavale Shayel Alayhu. If you like a shayel, keep a savar lo shayel. Rabban Lishtam Moshe Begavei Oklavi Shayel Alayhu. Meaning, whether you are a shayel will determine whether you're chayv for ein sin, and that's the machlekes. Rev Tarfin and Rebbe Akiva. Rebbe Akiva holds you're not a shayel, and therefore you don't have to pay for Ein Sim, which Rev Tarfin holds you are a shayel if you have to pay for Ein Sim. Yachi asked the Gemara, Lefikil Tam Rebbe Akiva Lamali. Why did Rebbe Akiva say, Lamali, that if the item is lost or stolen, you are a potter? After arguing only in the case of Ein Sim, within Rebbe Akiva and the Mishnah, the wording doesn't really make sense. Explains the Gemara. I am Rabbi Shalom Gneva Veda to believe if they argue a Gneva and Veda, then we can understand Rabbi Kiva and the Mishnah. Hi, new thing. Tony Rabbi Kiva. I'm really Shalom Shalom Vichlam of the Ein Chayv Achrius. So, get that to come in the Shemit Sacher. Having to Rabbi Yosef Gneva Veda Mechayiv, and on that Gufa Kamash Molon Lefikach. However, Hash the Damer Leish Hamish Ben. That would make a lot of sense. Everyone agrees you have a veda. And what keep ligi? The whole machleg is in the Mishnah's only binds in the shayel. My lefikach the Rabbi Akiva. What are the words Rabbi Akiva when he says lefikach in the Mishnah? Says the Gemara. You know what the Mishnah should have said. So the figure to Rabbi Kiva Lamali explains the Gemara. You know why Rabbi Kiva said the figure? Misham the figure to Rav Tarfin says the Gemara Shkayach. Well, the figure to Rav Tarfin Lamali. Hachi Kamar. This is where Rav Tarfin is teaching us two lines to the bottom. Kim the Charlie Rabban the Shtam Moshe Begavayu. Since Rabban allowed you to use the cash, Keman the Shtam Moshe Begavayu. That means as if you already used it. Says the Gemara, okay. Nice, long, and lengthy answer. The Mishnah said it was lost. So, how can you explain that the Mishnah means it was an oinus, it was an unavoidable mishap? We turn over to Chavtesim at Bez. Says the Gemara, Kede Rabba. Like the opinion of Rabba, Dama Rabba, Rabba taught us, Nignavu. Ballistim is and it was stolen by armed robbers. Avdu means watch. Atavus finasa by yam. That the sip shank at sea, which is a type of loss, which is an inez. Amr Rav Yehuda, Amr Shmuel, and we paskin halacha 
Kira of Tarif, and we pass like Rav Tarif, and that Lamaisi, you're allowed to use the money, and therefore you'd be Chayef for all sin. Says the Gemara, he had Rachav in the hand of Rachav, that was his name, Havli Hanu Zuzi Diyasm. He had money that belongs to Yisayim, and Muslim commander of Yosef Amrle, Ma'u Lishamushe Bigavayu, let him use it, Amrle, Achim Rav Yudam or Shmuel, Halacha Kirev Tarfin. Amrle, Abai of Lavin tomorrow, Allah, do we not learn Amr of Chalboy, Amr of Huna, Loi Shanu, Ella, Bitimea Veda? That we're only talking about the Timea Veda, Hail Vatarach Bu, because you bothered yourself with it. Abu Mai is Aveda, the Tarach Bu, Loi, Mani Kamai Saveda Dami, Amrle, Zel, Loshav Kali, the Ashri. Lach, they don't allow me to say that that's mutter to you that Rabbi Yisif accepts Abayah's kasha. We continue with more Avedas being found. Sfarim, how do you deal with this type of item that you find? If you find a safer and against Sfarim, and there are times where parchment and rolls, etc. Karim ben Mechashash, maybe you should read with it once in every 30 days. But many a day, like Christ, if you don't know how to read, Kailin, at least we're all the safer. The, the safer. Avalo yomu ben betchila, don't learn with it. Betchila, meaning the first time you're learning this topic, this safer. Avalo yikra acher imoi, can I learn it with another person? Masak sos, you find the garment, minara echad leshleishim yoim, you should shake it out once in every 30 days. Vishayt chalit sarcha, and you should hang it out for the item's usage. Avalo yachvayte, not for your honor that you hung up such a fancy tapestry, etc. You should use it for their usage. But not that they get worn out. Don't touch them. It's not the derech to take it. Then, then do not pick it up and you should leave it there. We're talking about over here in Dark Kalipo because of you. You're covered. It's not the derech for you to be walking on the street with a sack or with a kupa, etc. Says the Gemara Mer Shmuel. Ha moisi tefillin ba shok. Someone finds tefillin. What should he do? Sam de mayhem omanicha on the altar. What do you do with tefillin? You sell them right away. You assess their value. You sell them omanicha on the altar and you leave them aside. So Moshe Ravina. Ask Ravina, we're about 10 lines down, the second line of the Gemara. Chav Tesem in peace. Matzah, Ravina, Matzah, Sarn, Kabem, and Shal Yishim Yahim, in Udi Alikras, Gaidalan, Gaidalan, in something, Mayhen. Mani Chalai. We see in the Mishnah, you should roll the item. We don't see that you should sell it. So why are you saying when he's fine, fine Tfilin, you should sell it? I'm Rabbi Ya. Tfilin, Be Barachavu, Mishkach, Shrichi. Tfarim, Loi, Shrichi. When it comes to Tfilin, Tefillin are always available in the house of our Chavu, and therefore you can easily replace them. Since it's easy to replace, what would the owner want? He would want you to sell his Tefillin and get back the money. Sfarim, which of course, again, rolls, parchment, are not easily replaced, therefore do not sell it. Someone else. You let it open and read with it. You can learn with it for the first time. Can't read it together with someone else. Because again, we're nervous if two people read from one item, each one might pull towards them and ruin the item. Roll it every 12 months. Aser. Paisach of a kari, go open and read it, but if it's for yourself, you should not do it. So, Chazam of a chaydash, Shleishim Yoyim. Bechadash, excuse me, a new Sefer Torah every 30 days. Biyashan, Shleim Asar Chaydash. 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 Again, trying to evaluate what is best for the item. Amar, Mar, let's delve a little bit deeper. Ha, Shayel Sefer Torah, Mechavero, you borrow Sefer Torah from your friend, Leish Alenu, Hariz Alish Alenu, Lacher. Ask the Gemara, it sounds like. This has something to do with the fact that it's a Sefer Taira. But says the Gemara, I don't understand. My area is Sefer Taira. Afilu komili nami, any item that you borrow, you're not allowed to lend to someone else. Tamari shlagish teaches of Shimon, lagish kan chana rebi. Ein ashayel rashi lahashil. A borrower is not allowed to lend to someone else. Ein ashayel and a renter is not allowed rashi lahashil to rent someone else. Answers the Gemara. So, what's the Chiddush about a Sefer Torah? 
I would think one is happy that a mitzvah should be done with his money. Kamash Malan, that what? One is not happy that the Sefer Torah, meaning when you give the Sefer Torah, excuse me, to another person, that's the only case where such is the case. Again, English. One would think the Havamina is, it's a Sefer Torah. So maybe even though it's true, you're not lending to someone else, but maybe the guy's happy that you're utilizing his Sefer Torah, so maybe you can, yes, lend it to someone else. Kamash Mulan, you cannot. Why else did you borrow a Sefer Torah if not to read from it? Says you're right, but Sefer is the next case. So continues the Braisa, you open and read from it. Ask the Gemara, understand, my evidence, Yabe, why you let it read from it? It's a Pekadai. The Su, and Bishilai Paschai Aser. Hammer, Paischa, and Karabai, it's a Stira, and Eobag. First, you said open and read from it, and then you said, no, but by the way, if it's a P, then you now let it open and read it. It's the same thing. Says Mara Hachi Kamar. Em, Kishu, Kailalai, if while you're rolling it, Paischa, and Karabai, Mutter. Em, Bishilai, but if you're opening it up, Paischa, yourself, Aser. Then it is Aser. And the price ended with the sheet of Sumchis. Both of them are going to be 12 months. Ask the Gemara of Lesbian Yaakov, Hainu Tanikama. That's the same thing as the Tanikama every 12 months. That Sumchis differentiates between an old and a new. And Lesbian Yaakov is the most machmir. And he says everything goes by. The 30 days. And we continue about 15 lines at the bottom. The first line is Avul. Avul Yomod Bay Betzchil Oikra Achi Yimai. Can't learn with it the first time, nor are you allowed to let someone else learn with it with you. Asks the Gemara Virimin Hu. Loikra Parsha Vyeshena. You can't read a Parsha and repeat it. Loikra Bay Parshias. Parsha Vyetar Gim. Three people can't read it together. I, we just learned two people. Answers the Gemara. But, says the Gemara, the Shnayim, the Diak is, Kyron, you could yes read. Amr Abaye, Loikasha, Kan Bini Nechad, Kan Vishnei, In Yonim. Says Abaye, when two people are reading from one parak, that's usher, because you might pull it towards each other. Kan yanim. When we allow it, is when they're reading from two different areas. As long as it's open wide enough, there's no concern. We conclude with one last piece of Gemara. Masik says Minaroi, Achad Yoim. Says the Gemara. From this line, it would seem lememra. This seems to imply Deneir shaking out the ksos is malula. I v'am Rav Yechon Vishish like Gardi. If someone has a weaver in his house, you should shake it out each and every day. And then the weaver will weave another one. So it says the Gemara sounds like weaving is not good. It sounds like only if you have this weaver on hand, then you can shake it out daily. But if not, you should not. Amri, so obvious, to do it every day is bad. But is my law. One is with one person shaking it out. One is with two people shaking it out together. One is shaking it by hand. And one is with a stick, which of course is a more violent process. One is with wool. And therefore it might tear. Habedikisna is with linen, which does not tear as easily. Amar Rav Yechran Kisa de Charshan, drink from a cup made for Charshan sorcerers. Veloi Kisa de Paishib, don't drink a cup of lukewarm water. That's even more dangerous. Veloi Amaron Ela Bikli Matches, only with metal items. However, Avo Bikli Charash. But if we're using earthenware items, less the blood's no problem. Klimatchas nami loy amarin is not a problem. Al deloy tzvitz only if 
It did not come to a boil. Because then it's a stronger item. It's only if that other ingredients into Again, then there's not as much a concern. We'll pick it up from Rabbi Yechanan Visiata Dishmaya.